What's going on everybody? My name is Tyler from Texas. Welcome back to another Moto Vlog. Oh my god, it feels so good to be outside. As many of you are probably aware, my god, it's just been so cold. Everywhere is cold. Snow, ice everywhere. I even got hit with some of that here. But it's not nearly as bad as over in the East Coast, my lord. But since I'm a truck driver, I don't really watch the news. I just listen to the news so I can only imagine how horrific it was. Several feet of snow in the Northeast. Snow as far south as Florida. I mean, my goodness. So now that the uh, weather has finally improved, at least where I live, I can go riding again. Yeehaw! No, I think today is a good day to go on 2769 for a little bit. I plan on riding Loop 360 and stopping for lunch at Torchies because Torchies is amazing. Seriously, if you guys have never been to Austin, you guys. Anytime you come to Austin, you gotta eat at Torchies because they are the bomb. I can't get enough of Torchies. Especially now that I'm usually on the road away from Austin or any city that happens to have Torchies. So anytime I'm back for a little while, I always take the opportunity to grab me some tacos. Sweet, delicious tacos. Mmm tacos since October I've been helping out a major supermarket by doing local runs so I've really been in Texas since October I haven't gone out of the state as of late now with that being said now that the holiday season is over I am expected to go back over the road within the next few days But of course, that hasn't happened yet. So only time will tell. But anyway, I was doing a very good job at this location. And since my company is contracted with the supermarket, I have the option, if I want to, to become permanently dedicated with their account. Which means that I would just remain in Texas indefinitely. Until I were to change my mind to go back over the road. Truck's behind me. Am I going slow? I don't think I'm going that slow. Ah! I'm nearly out of gas! Gotta get me gas! So I've already become permanently dedicated with this chain of supermarkets. I can move! Woohoo! Yes, yeah, it's, it's in a town just north of Austin and the rent is so damn cheap! So I'm hoping to get, become permanent because not only could I I have a place of my own again. But also, it just pays more. I'll get a pay increase. And honestly, the places I'm seeing I could rent up there, I could be living pretty well. So I am really, really excited. And I have a very good chance of becoming dedicated too. Not right away, but there could be a vacancy open hopefully within the next month or two. But of course, I have to go back over the road before that happens. Or maybe if I get lucky, I won't have to. It might open up that quickly. This turn is always pretty sharp. So yeah, that's the idea. If I can become permanently dedicated, I can move into my own place again. And then when I move into my own place again, that means I'll be home at least every other night, if not every night. Which means more stuff I can do. More of my hobbies will come back to me. More motorcycle riding. More music making. 
more everything I could possibly think of. That would be super cool. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm in a bit of a drought right now when it comes to creating content. And I know I may have said that in previous videos, but I do so humbly apologize and I'm so happy you guys are, you know, sticking with me through, um, sticking with me through sort of the uh, financial hardships i kind of gone through. But it's been fantastic though. I'm really glad I made a career change. I'm making a lot, making more money than I never could possibly imagine. And I recently bought a new car as well. Just to get you an idea of how well I'm doing right now. And hopefully it will continue to go well for me. Man, this road is so much fun. Okay, well there is a gas station up ahead. I really gotta get gas. I'm, well, okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was, but it was showing I was on fumes. So I gotta go ahead and get that taken care of. Getting some gas, getting some gas for my motorcycle. Okay, just give me a couple seconds here. Super premium. Man, this pace is packed. <laughs> this pace. Place. Place is packed. Anyway, there is something I do kind of want to talk about. Because I never thought I had to talk about this. So a user on YouTube has commented to me about, hey, are you the Sly Fox? And a huge wave of nostalgia hit flat in my face. Well, I guess it's not really nostalgia. It wasn't admittedly that long ago, but it was quite some time. So of course I responded back saying, yeah, I am. Or I was. And he mentioned something about a series I've done a long time ago. You see, back when I just started in college, I was really getting into, you know, uploading stuff onto YouTube and such. I was following different kinds of people. It got me inspiration for, you know, making videos in the first place. I think the two biggest contributors to that are uh, James Wolfe and Doug Walker, who are two reviewers that I still follow, but maybe not as much as I used to back in the day. If you guys don't know who these two are, they're uh, movie and video game reviewers and I found them very entertaining and I still do in fact. Um, you know, looking back at some of the new episodes that they've came out, they still hold up pretty well I feel. But of course that was such a long time ago when uh, I, when they were like huge. I guess in a way there still, still are, but we got people like Markiplier and uh, PewDiePie kind of dominating YouTube. It sort of overshadows their success. But anyway, I'm getting kind of off track. When I was just turning 19, I had a little series called Idiots of YouTube. And the whole premise of the series was I looked at videos of basically people making um, idiots of themselves or trolling other people on the interweb and I sort of provide my own commentary on it. Sort of think of it like The Daily Show or South Park or something, how they do their interpretations of world events and all that. And the series was actually kind of successful. It was my most successful series I've ever done. 
And it was back when I had my old channel called the Sly Fox TNT. And at the time, I was actually enjoying making these videos. I really like to know. I guess I just like to talk. I like to um, talk about things that interest me. And back then, I found people who um, make videos about themselves and they get mocked for it. It's sort of an interesting topic at hand. Or at least I thought so back in the day. But, you know, especially now, I look at these kind of videos. I, I'm like looking back at videos like Jesse Slaughter or... Eric Douglas, and some of you guys, or most of you guys for that matter, I bring up those two names and you guys have no idea who I'm talking about, because that was such a long time ago, but YouTube was such a small, I wouldn't say small, but it wasn't as big as it is today, where getting fame was a lot easier to uh, obtain, because there's not as many people uploading content is not as many viewers I guess viewing videos if that makes sense so really what I did if I were still doing it today I'd probably be talking about um, Christine Chandler or maybe looking back at Rebecca Black and I know there's probably countless users out there that um getting a lot of attention for no good reason but those are just a few things that come to my head because I'm just not interested in that kind of stuff anymore I look at these videos now and it's just super depressing I cringe more than I'm entertained by that I feel sorry for them because often they just don't know what the hell they're doing and granted there's probably some that may have deserved it but I don't think it's worth going out of the way to mock somebody over, you know, a mistake and ruin their lives over it. Many people probably disagree with me, but I think in most cases it's just not, it's just, it's horrible. So, I had the most successful series on YouTube, so you guys must be wondering, why did I quit? Why did I stop? I can't remember how many episodes I made exactly. I think I made 18 before I just gave up and quit. And what really started, um, what really wanted me to give, give it up altogether was a few things. Number one, I was in college and I was not doing that great in college. And I think a lot of it had to do with the series I was running at the time. Even though I kind of scheduled it, I give myself breaks if I need to. My main focus, I was putting too much focus in that series when I should have been putting more focus on college. I was making C's. I was not doing that great. So that's kind of reason number one. Reason number two is probably the biggest reason is I just started hated doing it and I felt horrible doing it. There was one guy I picked on, gosh, I can't believe I'm saying that, but it is kind of true. There's a guy I picked on on YouTube, his name was Leather Rebel Justice, and I don't know if he's still active on YouTube, but I was getting requests to do this guy because, well, because back then I was part of the, uh, I would browse the forums of Channel Awesome and Cinemassacre and I'd post these videos and I'd like get them requests and because, well, lo and behold, they had to make fun of James Ralph and Doug Rocker and suddenly they want me to talk about him. And I looked at some of his videos and yeah, I thought, yeah, there's stuff to talk about in them. It's it's kind of well disgusting. You know, there was a clip where he, for whatever reason, thought it was a good idea to lick somebody's armpit, and I'm like, well, yeah, I gotta talk about him now because that's really interesting. And 
this is probably the first time I've gotten serious backlash over talking about anyone. Anyone! Because he has a fan base, and I got lashed out for it. And I guess back in the day, I just didn't know how to handle criticism. So, long story short, I got sick of tired of reading these comments over and over and over again. I just deleted the video. I thought, okay, lesson learned. I need to come up with something better than what I just did right there. But that was sort of the starting point of where everything just fell apart. Not necessarily the videos themselves, I'm just talking about, well, I guess, my life in general. Because again, I wasn't doing well in school, and I was in a town that... I was sort of the new kid in town. I, uh... See, I lived in Austin just about all of my life, and I decided to attend school up in a town called Denton. So, I went to the University of North Texas. I didn't know anyone that went there. I was all by myself. And really the only friends I had were online at the time because all of my friends were, well, back in high school and, well, most of them moved on. So go to the next semester in the spring. Um, it was around the end of March of 2011. I saw that I got a new comment, so I went ahead and read it, and that is where I just threw my hands up in the air and said, you know what, I'm done. The guy was just, I don't even remember what he said exactly, but he just called me such a despicable person, and I had to look deep down inside and realize that what I do, what was I doing, what I was doing, was just that. It was despicable. I'm basically a loser on YouTube attacking people that are not as fortunate as I am because I have like low self-esteem or something. Or at least that's what I like to think it was. And it was just upon reading that comment, I realized I can't be doing this anymore. I am throwing my life away. So I did just that. I deleted my channel. I told everyone, hey, guys, I'm done. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. It's making me feel sick. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And you know, I had a channel for a little while. I did other things. I deleted that one as well. And now here I am with this channel, which I plan to keep. And, you know, I know you guys have probably never heard of this series before. I was just surprised one person commented about it. But back in 2010, 2011, my episodes would hit a thousand, vi uh, a thousand views per episode. And, you know, that's not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. But you have to remember, back in 2010, 2011, YouTube was not that old of a channel. There weren't as many people um, making content. So that was actually not a bad amount to have. For a small YouTuber. But despite all that, despite all the um, popularity I was getting, I went to a con when I was still making the series and I had not one but two people recognize me for what I do. It was it was kind of incredible. But even all that, even the hits, even the views, even the people that recognizes me, even the people that praise me, even the people that criticize me. You know, looking back on it now, deleting that channel and quitting that series was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. Because really think about it. I, 
could be this guy, this, you know, just making fun of people on the internet. And when people are like looking into your background, when you find a job, that's scary. They'll look at it and be like, do we really want a guy who's going to go out of his way to criticize people on the internet for some really insignificant thing? I mean, that's just what it is at the end of the day. They're just people. They just did something stupid and they get backlashed over it. And I just can't be a part of that anymore. I just can't. And I'm glad I'm not. Because now I'm being more, you know, productive. I'm being more creative. I'm doing, I'm doing other things that doesn't res, doesn't result. Um, I'm doing something that doesn't you that doesn't necessarily use other people, unless if it's in a positive way. Like, you know, James. He does my artwork, and I voice act for quite a few people. You know. I mean, at least what I'm doing now is more constructive. I just think if I were to keep doing what I was doing back then, I'd be really struggling right now. And granted, I'm still living with my mom right now, but I would have never been able to live on my own in the first place like I did, well, a year ago. I just don't know if that will ever happen because I don't think any serious employer would take me seriously if they decided, hey, um, we noticed that you did this series where you like poke fun at, you know, people as young as like 11. I don't think we want you as an employee. I want to um, go ahead and apologize for uh, going a little deep in this video, but the guy who commented on one of my videos one day just made me really think about it. And I thought about it in the past, but it's just nothing that I've ever really spoke publicly about until now. And I just felt like it's time for me to talk about it and if it's not just one guy that's following me right now that's aware of what I did in the past if there's more of you guys out there who um, stuck with me despite everything that I have done between 2011 to today. You know, that's just something I did that I wasn't proud of and, you know, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Unless some guy archived all my old videos and re-uploads it one day, which I've looked many times in the past out of curiosity's sake and that has not happened yet. I kind of hope it stays that way. And I still hold on to these old videos for whatever reason. I had it on my old computer. Now I say old because about six months ago I had to buy a new computer. All of my old files, my videos, they're gone completely. I had the old computer recycled and Unless, again, somebody archived them, it's never going to be seen again. Never. And again, I wanted to stay that way. Anyway, again, I'm really sorry this video was kind of a deep downer of a video. But I don't want to necessarily think of it as a downer video. I understand that I kind of went, I talked about a lot of stuff about my past, about what I did. 
but moving forward it was for the better a lot better you know there's things i wish i could change in the past and i know there's people out there that says you know i wouldn't change anything about what i did in the past well part of me still thinks i would like to change something in the past but you know it is what it is now all i can do is move forward And really? It's been a lot better. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it through this far, maybe next time I could come up with something more Maybe next time I can come up with something that's a lot more fun to talk about. But, you know, until then, thank you again for watching. I'll see you again next time. Take care.